Hello and welcome back to Roblox on this fine morning where we're going to be chasing a moderate and a high risk day in the Dominator 3 because it was recommended pretty recently in the comments and I thought why not? Okay, why was I in neutral? I don't know that one. By the way, we do have a tornado up ahead of us, but it was weakening. Not anymore. Never mind. <laughs> that was completely thrown out the window. So what do you say we go chase it down, see if we can get another intercept on it? Because that would be good. I was very confused what I saw on the front of that vehicle, but it was one of the probes sticking out of the windshield. Okay, very interesting. That's one way to do it. He really wanted to get those uh, wind speed scans from the probe. It is so foggy and rainy to this morning. This is, uh, though that explains why 1.7 inches of Ewad. Hello there, tornado. Now we can jump ahead, get over, and deploy. Now, an interesting thing about the thermodynamics of today is, well, I'll go ahead and let y'all look at them. Pause here if you want to see it, because I'm going to exit out of that. I need to focus, but one thing about it, 78 mile per hour movement speeds of the storms. That is just crazy. Let me back in, Dominator. Again, not much wind speeds. It probably literally just lifted. Not even enough wind speeds to earn anything. Well, that was pathetic, but eh, it intercepted an intercept. Okay, well, that seems like it's the only storm this morning as of now, so I'm gonna head on back to a place where I can hopefully see again. As I'm driving into Hazleton, I want to talk about another thing. Have y'all noticed uh, that sort of glitch where you'll suddenly start accelerating and doing donuts randomly? Have you noticed that it's basically disappeared? I'm guessing Roblox resolved the issue or Twisted found a way to fix it. One of the two, because I heard that it was a update thing with Roblox that caused it. Which, uh, either way, I'm honestly happy it's fixed. But then again, I can't say anything. Because it could happen. I don't know. But I've been quite lucky here lately not to witness it. Which is very good. White truck, what are you doing? Can you not make up your mind? Hey, let's see what the maintenance look like on this. Oh. Not half bad. We got a single pixel. Well, actually, it's kind of a few pixels, but still. We got something. We really got something. <laughs> okay, so I um, reckon it's time to get started back. Oh. Undeploy first, because I can't get out of the park that way, and I reckon start heading that way. Movement is going to be sort of down through this way. Don't think it's going to hit Hibbing, but I've seen weirder things happen. It's definitely going to be down through this area. But once it forms is the question. Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start moving down that way. 
And I guess this guy's, these guys are going to be doing the same. Okay, so it's going to be there. Okay. Either this is going to be a very small hook or it ain't done growing yet. I'm gonna get down to these crossroads and then look again. Okay, let's get another look. Okay, okay, okay. So it's probably gonna be you know, on my way somewhere up in here. Coming down through there. And I want the velocity now since I somewhat know what the hook shape is. Oh, hello, Tiff2. Now, the real question is, with how fast this is going to be moving, this may not end up being a good spot. So what I'm going to do is probably run all the way down to the other asphalt road and get ready. Because with a 78 mile per hour storm motion day, you've really got to be ready to move. And I'll, don't even get me started on the days where it's in the 90s. That's just, you might as well sit back and watch. Because not only are you not going to make much off of it, because it's going to be over your probes in a matter of seconds. But it's just going to be very hard to get in front of, especially if it chooses more rural areas. Okay, I didn't want to... Dang, look at that dumb one go. <laughs> oh, there we go. Ooh, looks like a decent size. Right now, my point of focus is sort of narrowed around this area for a target zone. I have to rely on some more future updates to really narrow that down. Judging by this one, I'm kind of going towards this area. And it's also pretty much just straight north of our location, which isn't good. Because I don't really expect it to suddenly shift straight south. That was surprisingly hard to get those words out. And it shouldn't have been. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's kind of shifting down this way. It's right back. Okay. Okay, maybe the full hydroplaning glitch supersonic thing isn't completely gone. Okay, it's like really starting to come this way. But I feel like I may need to move forward still. It's a pretty good size too though. That's a... If I'm correct, that's a stovepipe, right? Oh my gosh, look at the speed. Go, 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 go. This is like sonic speed. Nope, only one probe. Holy. Well, there goes the white truck. 
that happen with and there goes a guy <laughs> that okay that happened very fast are we even gonna be able to get back in front of this thing i feel like to even have a chance we need to just go all the way up and down that dirt road Oh, we're getting Winfield all the way. Uh oh! Stop, 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 stop! Okay, stop. There we go. Oh boy. That's. <laughs> That strengthened very fast. Where am I? I'm facing northwest. Uh, speaking of which, there's a guy up on the road, so we need to go that way. No, we'll just go this way. There's a dirt road right here. <laughs> that was that was very interesting to say the least that thing strengthened crazily okay I'm gonna go with my other plan of going over to the other road because with how fast this thing is moving we're gonna want that time if we can even get to the paved road in Viroqua to go down in time this is going to be an interesting time. But it makes for a fun chasing experience because, I mean, yeah, I should say the glitch ain't completely gone. It's happening right now. OK, never mind. I, I guess I'm seeing it again. Okay, that thing's already going over the river. Okay. We're going to have to be insanely quick with this one. And we're going to want to be there to analyze its direction in time. Because if we're going to want to deploy probes, we're going to, as you saw earlier, we're going to want to be quick. Okay, let's take another look at radar. That thing's coming quick. We have the pedal to the metal. Go, 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 go. down to save my life today I swear <laughs> oh my gosh is there any other possible chance to intercept this because we cannot take a dirt road it will easily outrun us on a dirt road <laughs> oh we got a storm up north all the way up north, in fact. Uh, that's peculiar. <laughs> Where's this one going? This one... This one's basically going off radar. You know what? I'm going to head up to the new storm since it's seeming like I'm really not going to be good at probing today. <laughs> and 
plus it's just gonna be an adventure to get there so let's go oh my gosh get up to the top go faster go faster legs oh i can't see a thing up here which size my dominator on take the express elevator down it has to be the super giant when it comes to Hazelton, doesn't it? Oh my gosh. Well, I reckon, uh... This is about to be very interesting. And you know what? I'm gonna stay right here just in case I need to go that way or that way. Because I can't really tell where it's going. But it also kind of looks like it's just going to go straight through here. Luckily, we do get a Dow, so that's pretty nice. Might be heading more towards the upper point. But either... I don't know who you are. Where is it coming? We need to move up. Oh, we got wind speeds. I'll put that there oh it's here and I can't move we're going down I'm stuck can't see and <laughs> 91 on Messinet. So far, not no insanely high wind speeds. Well, it is green, so. But we're making some decent off of this one. That's a good thing, though. You better pray the Dom doesn't get picked up. The only way that's going to happen is if this thing suddenly super strengthens or something. And there's another one! Um. <laughs> okay. Uh, gotta undeploy... That's why I was stuck. Okay. So we'll go this way. Where did I... Oh. Ooh, those are some pretty good thermos, but it's still very fast movement. What is it with, like, being super fast movement speed here lately? Oh, there we go. Out the probes. And... nice. And there goes my ears. They're bleeding now. Now that one's moving off, but I feel like I want to, um, wait for this one. What this one looks like is it's going to be moving up here. 
sort of across this area. Which I'm guessing possibly because it spawned in the new day. Possibly, I don't know. I wasn't paying attention enough. Come on, update. I need to know another location. Okay, moving. We got slabs in Hazleton already? How? It was like green. And a little bit of orange. Oh, hello, Dal. I don't think you should be here. Okay, let's take another look. Holy, okay, that thing went up to red pretty quick. Dow, I, I, I'll be here just in case you need me. Cause it's kind of coming this way. Come on, bud. Uh oh. Well, I was he I thought he was about to hop in. Okay. This thing is crazy. They said pink. Oh boy. Did it just die that quick? Oh, we gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. And go, 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 go. Well, I come back to my computer and I see this. For one, it's daylight. Which is pretty good. And two, the other storm's over. Interesting. You had to step away for a moment because of things that I had to do. But I'm back. I'm back to finish this. Now we need... I'm going to go down. Probably... Uh, no, we'll just stay right here. I wonder what all happened with that uh, other storm that went down through there. Who knows? So that's what happened. It was like, uh, I'm going to pass Hazleton. Nope, I'm going to go down. Actually, it kind of did pass Hazleton because it went up and then down sort of on the edge. Oh, hello. And it sort of ended over there near Sneed. So where is this thing going? Let's figure that out. I feel like we're going to have to go down, though, so... Yeah. Well, we got stuff starting up. We got the rotation, and we got a funnel starting. Also, you may notice I changed vehicles, which I decided to... opt for a more risky take on today's chase. Well, the day two chase, I guess you could say. And that is a normal vehicle. Because as you can tell, in an interceptor... I basically would have got sucked up if I was a normal vehicle every single time. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's touched down already. Okay, we need to move in fast. Because this thing is not going to let up in terms of speed and probably strength. It's also pretty big too. Now, for those of you that didn't know why I'm choosing this vehicle is, this is actually themed after sort of, I guess you could say my RL favorite truck. I-R-L-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-
So it's coming down through here. Got a good view of it from up here. Looks like it may have some multis in it. Yeah, it definitely does. Cool. Now let's take another little update look. Uh, it's coming through here. We got another storm. We got things going crazy. Well, either way, I need to get down here. I do want to get down on that road. And just in case it does shift back up this way, I want to be ready to where I can move. But if it stays going this way, I ain't risking dropping down and getting sucked up as quick. Hello there, Dominator, which seems to have a full uh, vehicle. Well, maybe not full, but... Okay, where are you going? Oh, running it close with this one. Uncomfortably... Yeah, I speak. Uncomfortable... I can't speak! Uncomfortably close. Coming this way, right? Okay, maybe moving more this direction. Okay, dropping probes and getting out of here. Because I don't want to be a part of when this thing shows up. Oh, there it is. It's already just basically on top of us. That scout is not going to want to continue. Where are you going? Just about dead on with the probes. 116, 117, 20. Whoa, it jumped from like two hundred to like five hundred. What the world was that? Oh, I love these uh, probes even better now. We just made so much off of that. <laughs> Because as you could tell, I did sort of change up probes, and I went for this one now. Because for one, it does seem to have a little bit less durability than some, but it makes an absolute crap ton. And that was only 128 mile per hour winds. Imagine if it was like a 200. Where are the probes? Where are you? All right here. And it's pink. Now that one's down there, so we're gonna wanna get ready for that. Now that thing's gonna pass me up pretty much almost immediately. <laughs> like I said. There was almost no point to going around that vehicle. Okay, luckily there's a little bit of ahead of me because uh, I would have went deaf again. Oh, wow, we've already got something going on with that one. Nifty. This one really changed and started moving upwards. Pretty interesting. Now we'll wait right here for a moment. That didn't really help one bit. It's definitely going more up here.
That's coming our way. We need to go. And it's coming fast. May miss this one. It looked like it may have went a little bit more north, but if we're lucky, we should still get some of the wind field. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of it for sure. But it doesn't seem like it's quite enough. Annoyingly. Oh. Yeah, I don't want to be a part of that. I'm going to move back up a little bit. Okay, it might be far enough past now so we can... Hop back down and get our probes. Right down there. I... Oh, it jumped to red. Okay. So let me hop down here and we'll see if we can get back in front of it. This one's in quite an awkward spot to try and get to. And it just dropped down to yellow too. Do we dare try and do it down here? I really doubt we'll get anything out of this, but... We'll see. Oh. Kind of come a little close. It's going up. Fifty-four. Okay. Let's go and pick those up. What's the rating? It's a uh, yellow. That one looks interesting. Holy crap. Do I want to risk this one or do I want to go for that? Well, the problem is now I can't get past it. We'll let that one go and we'll uh, try our odds at this one down south. Wow. That thing is huge. Okay. Well, I ain't gonna make it down to the other road in time, that's for dang sure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a gamble and go on the dirt road. Because why not? <laughs> Did it like shift directly north? Well, now it's a race. Who can make it there first? Oh, it really is. Good gosh. That could be bad.
This thing ain't gonna slow down for us. And neither are we for it. Okay. Uh, this is probably about to be very bad. We're gonna be gone there. Go, 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 go! Go, trusty, go! How? How did we do that? Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> 178 175 oh, good gosh we are we just threaded the bullet right there that was amazing <laughs> 75 it's got it's got black velocity on it Hmm. Well, that was very worthwhile. Now I just gotta find them again. Well, I reckon as that thing power flashes off into the distance, this is gonna be where we end it for today. As it was a very wild two days for at the least <laughs> both days being in the 70 mile per hour storm motion day which one getting one day with that speed is rare enough but two in a row but it happened and I must say they were fun so yeah thanks for watching everybody hope you enjoyed today's episode and I'll catch you all in the next one.